I'm Lee Wilson from Two Guys Outdoors, and today I'm going to talk about the importance of modularity. Now, I've got two pieces of kit with me right here, my LA Police gear, organizer bag, and an old military, uh, like, basically biowarfare detox kit that I've had forever and a day. And I have my fire kit in here, and I have my always with me, like, survival essentials in this bag. And... <clears throat> I've been running my Sika Gear Slinger lately, and not using my uh, my Gunslinger quite as much, but it's still important to me to stay modular. Now, some people may not consider this to be a big deal. I can probably get a little bit more stuff in the Sitka and have a little more room if I didn't just keep this kit in there. You guys will have to pardon the wind. It's that kind of day today. It's up in the 60s and openly heading for a high of like 85, so yeah, it's spring. So, but back to the important part. So, staying modular here, it is important to me to be able to just grab this out of my Sitka, throw it in my Gunslinger, and essentially just change packs immediately. I keep some things loaded in the Gunslinger permanently, my sleeping bag's on there, my <clears throat> shelter kit's in there, just, you know, essentials that are going to be, like, if I'm going to be out for more than a day or two, I'm going to have that pack with me and not the Sitka. Sitka's more of my day pack, but this is still essential kit that I need to have in there so being able to grab and go is awesome but what I carry in here is also equally important opens up and I've just got some things that I'll always want to have with me I have a chem light a chem light holder back in here I have a thermal space blanket these things are cheap they're useful and they actually do work I have used them when I've been in New Mexico uh, yet another knife my Swiss Army knife which has a mini pocket saw on it just redundancy there. I have a really good loud whistle. So just another signaling device. I have an old gum tube with some duct tape on it and some magnesium shavings in there for fire starting. Uh, matches, extra matches. I have a lot of matches. Got a signal mirror. Little bitty Coolens signal mirror here. Got a lens clap of the lens cloth <clears throat> for my scope or whatever needs to be clean. Some potable aqua tabs. These are always useful. Um, keep an eye on the expiration date of these things. You want to make sure they're up to date, you know, so they're actually useful to you. Got a right in the rain all weather notebook. This is for what you know if I have to keep make some notes or keep track of things. I've got that. I'll just keep a industrial grade sharpie in there. Uh, really useful little piece. And a pencil for my right in the rain. And a map of Paladero Canyon. So these are just items that are always going to be with me regardless of whatever kit I'm running. So it's nice to have them in a bag. Like I said, weighs a little bit more, takes up a little bit more space, but you can grab and go. Same thing with my fire kit. And this is incomplete fire kit right now. It's just, you know, what I have. I'm still expanding. But in here I have some wet fire tabs about four of those and also have my light my fire fire steel which is essential matches another striker on the bottom there and an international safety orange bic because well sometimes it's nice to cheat like that but since the bics do run out you can't always rely on them so that's my fire kit and that's just you know I can grab this out of out of here stick it in the gun slinger and be good to go so staying modular, well, yeah, it does take up a little bit more space in the long run. If you're moving back and forth between packs for your day pack and your like, overnighter pack, it's just a good concept to go with. There's a lot of ways you can do it. Uh, LA Police bags are cheap. They're like 12 13 bucks on clearance. So it's a good solid bag and just real easy. It even has a carrier strap. <clears throat> a couple of D-rings if I want to throw some paracord on there and just take this with me for some reason this like I said I've had this for forever and a day I mean since I was about 12 years old and it was originally my first aid kit but it's making a good fire kit right now so it's just something to you know keep in mind if you want to stay modular you can look at Max Edition for a bunch of uh, internal pouches to keep yourself organized and that's another important thing about being modular is you break it down into separate kits your fire kit your first aid kit your basic survival kit and you always know what you have your food kit I have a separate kit for that as well and so 
whichever way you're going, whatever you're doing, you can just grab the equipment that you need for that particular, you know, operation, that particular hike, that particular camp, and you'll be set to go. So thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you guys later.